the pressure off the perfect outfit. With those holiday parties in mind, today's style file is all about simple ways to step up your style and add a touch of sparkle to your day-to-day -day look. Beauty Stoop Megan Moore says the right finishing touches are already sitting in your makeup bag. So small things we can do really can make a difference? Absolutely. This is all about using the makeup you already have, the makeup you already wear, but just adding a few little extra touches to just bump it up for your holiday party, make it a little more festive and a little more sparkly. Well, and you're bold and brave and beautiful all year round, but for the rest of us, I feel like Christmas is an excuse to try something a little more daring. Exactly. Those holiday parties are a perfect excuse Excuse to just try something that you may maybe wouldn't wear normally to work or whatever. It's just fun. It's just an experience and a reason to do something a little bit more. We're starting with the eyes. You see, in fact, there's something we can do with our eyeshadow that will make a difference. Yeah, so take the eyeshadow that you already have and wear it just normally, but then I like to add just a little bit of sparkle over the top of it, just a little bit of sheen, um, just really through the inner corners. And I always recommend using something that's warm. If you go into something that's silver or white, it can look too icy and look a little dated, a little 90s. So warm like bronzy. Copper. Bronzy, gold, or cream is the perfect little shimmer just to add. And I like to always just keep it really concentrated on those inner corners too, just for a little bit. If we want to pick up a new product, do you have one that you recommend? Yeah, this one over here, this is by NS Minerals, and it's their Loose Mineral Pigments. And this one is my favorite color. It's Pixie. It's just this perfect, warm, little, soft shadow color. So okay, the studio bit, lights are helping, but it's gorgeous. Isn't that so pretty? So if I just dip into it just a little bit, uh -huh. tap, it, tap a little bit off of it, and then okay. we can put it on Alicia. Hey, Alicia. So we'll, this is Alicia. So she's got her regular eyeshadow already on, just what uh -huh. she would normally wear day to day. We're just going to take that and just tap it onto the inner corners. And we're just doing a little bit. Like I said, a little goes a long way because we don't want it to look 90s or outdated. So we're just going to take it, tap it right into the inner corner. Beautiful, easy, just really bumps it up. And a lot of people already have a shimmer. It, in their uh, you know, makeup bag, so it's not something that you have to go out and buy. How far down the side of the nose are you going, or not at all? Not really going down the side of the nose, really keeping it on the inner corner and just maybe the little inner third of the eyelid is all, just to bring that shadow up, just a little bit more sparkle, really okay. pretty but simple. Not over the top. And We're not looking for, you know, anything that looks like you're going to a club, right? Don't, don't be a fairy. <laughs> no, right? don't be a fairy. Can any age pull this off? Yeah, absolutely. This is something, because we're keeping it really tame and keeping it just on that inner corner, anybody can really do it. It's just going to brighten and lift the eyes up a little bit. All right, speaking of fairies, the next technique you're teaching us is called cheek <laughs> dusting. So this affects the blush then? Yes. Yeah, so you've got, she's already got her blush on, her bronzer. I'd love to just add a little bit of shimmer highlight. This one is my favorite. It's by The Balm, and it's called Mary Luminizer. Oh. Um, so it's really pretty. We're just going to take it and touch it right on the top of her cheeks just to give her a little bit of shimmer, a little bit more glow for holiday, just because it looks like you're lit within. I like that. So show us how to apply it then. Okay, so we're just going to take this. Um, I like to use it with a fan brush because it's just really loose and easy. So just tap a little bit on, tap some of it off so you don't have too much. Okay. We're going to go right on to the top of the cheekbones just to add that sheen right on the curve of the bone where it naturally rounds. That's beautiful. And then give a little bit up above her eyebrow too just to like wake up the face. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's pretty. And again, that tips toward the warm side, right? Exactly. So nothing too, nothing too icy, blue or silver. We're just going to add that right to the top of the cheekbones. It really just gives a glow. It lights up her eyes and it's just easy and you already have it. I mean, a lot of people already have a highlighter, so this mm -hmm. is a perfect time of year to use it. Now, I've professed my love multiple times for Benefit High Beam yeah. as the highlighter. Do you prefer a powder over that liquid? I love a powder because I can put it on so much quicker. That's the only thing. With the liquid, you have to tap it in and work it in a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they both work. They're very similar. I love high beam too. So okay. I mean, really similar. This one's just quick and easy. I feel like I can put this on just in a flash right before a party or even in the car sometimes if I just need a little, uh, you know, right yeah, before yeah. I go. So All that's right. why I love this one. Now we're going to kiss and tell lips. What can we do to bump up the lip area? Okay, so a lot of people, I mean, Obviously, glosses are amazing, but a lot of people don't know that just having a clear gloss in your Reginald is just perfect for holidays because you can use any lipstick that you already have, mm -hmm. a color that you already love, and turn it into a glossy holiday look. Well, this is an example of, I think, being bold and brave and dramatic for the holidays. I wouldn't wear a bold color and a lip gloss year mm -hmm. round, but for the holidays, somehow I feel like I could pull that off. Yeah, and I like to just concentrate it even on the center of the lips, so it's not the whole lip. Just put it right in the middle so it makes it a little pouty, a little bit fuller lip. Looks that way, but it's not over the top. This is actually a TV trick that every TV makeup artist I've worked with for the last 10 years has taught to do it just 
straight yep. in the center. What does that do exactly? It just it just highlights the roundest part of your lip. So the light reflects there. It makes it look bigger and bolder, fuller, without doing a whole lip all the top. Okay. So take a color lipstick you already have, something that you feel comfortable in. You don't need to buy anything new. But having a clear gloss like this one, this is from Buxom, and it's their color called Dominique. It's just a clear gloss with glitter in it. Um, and glitter, you know, like I said, I don't wear glitter all the time, but for holiday, I love it. And I'm just going to apply it right to the middle of her lips and just kind of tap it out. It uh -huh. doesn't need to go all the way to the edge. And it's just going to give like the appearance of a much fuller lip and then blot that together. Pretty. And it just kind of blends into the sides. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? So yeah. it just, it bumps it up a little bit, but it's not over the top. So again, something you already have, you can make it just that much more holiday ready. And I thought I had every buxom color in existence. Apparently not. That's called what? Dominique. Dominique. Yep. It's just clear with sparkle in it. So it changes any lipstick into a nice sparkle. Does it have their signature minty effect? It does. All right. Yep. Alicia, you look beautiful. Thanks, Thanks so much for helping us out. And if we want more beauty advice, we can always go to your website. Of course, thebeautysnoop.com. All right. Well, I've got you here. I want to get your opinion, Megan, sure. as a salon salon owner and as a stylist about this article that is trending online. It's about a new hair salon in Wales that is offering kind of a new service of sorts. At the Bauhaus Salon, you can now book your appointment in the quiet chair. So it's a designated workstation where the stylist doesn't chat with you while you're having your hair done. It's hair talk up front and then silence for the remainder of the appointment. Some customers like the idea of quiet time, other people saying that it's just an excuse to bury our noses in our technology. I hate to be the fence sitter here, but I I'm kind of on the fence about it. I think back to my grandma who had a salon in her house, right? Mm -hmm. And it was a scene straight out of Steel Magnolias where these women were chattering, they were lifelong friends. Yeah. But then I also, I'm thinking of myself and I love my stylist, I consider his friends, but there is that time where you just want to sink into the hair chair and just be still. What do you think about it? I think, honestly, I, I'm not surprised that this is popular. I mean, I don't know that I'm going to put it on my salon menu at this at this salon and say we offer this as a specific service, but we definitely see this in our salon where we know you can kind of tell when people want to take a little time. And if you're wanting to do that, if you're, if you're having a hard time telling your stylist. Yeah, how do you do it without being rude? So this is the best way. I mean, this is how I kind of um, like to hear it from clients. And sometimes they'll just say, you know, you know, I'm really busy. I've had just a long day. I hope you don't mind if I just kind of unwind and plug into a magazine for a, you know while we're here. They say it up front. Yeah, just say, you know, I'd love to just chill out and just read a magazine. You know, usually stylists can pick up on it. If they're not giving a lot of answers, if they don't want to talk back, then usually we'll know. But it's it's a totally okay to say, you know, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to take a minute and read a magazine or I'm going to work on my computer or whatever they're going to do. And you're not offended? No, because you know what? Sometimes the chit chat is a lot of work for us too. Sometimes we feel like it's too much. You know, we can really focus when we're not chit chatting. Right. So sometimes okay. it's going to speed up your appointment too. It's all good. There you go. Thanks yeah, for your take there. Sure. I thought that was interesting. All right.